Hello everybody, this is Sebo and on this video I want to show you this DVMark MIDI pedal board we created to control the multi-amp. It's a pretty compact pedal board that you can easily carry with your multi-amp inside a dedicated bag, but it also features many functions with the possibility to customize it depending on your needs. So let me show you how you can use it. First, we have to connect our pedal board to the multi-amp plug in the MIDI cable into the MIDI in port. The pedal board power will be supplied through the same cable, so we don't need any external power adapter if we use the pedal board with the multi-amp. We have the external power input anyway if we want to use it to control another MIDI device. Before starting to use the pedal board, we need to set it on the same MIDI channel with the multi-amp, so we just have to enter the system menu on the multi-amp, selecting MIDI and then MIDI address to set the MIDI channel we want to use. On the pedal board, we have to select the channel menu, pressing OK, then setting the same MIDI channel using the 4 and 8 switches, then we confirm pushing OK and go back to the program change function, pressing ESC. When we use the program change function, Every switch lets us recall a different preset. We need to map every switch to let it recall the preset we want. Let's say I want to map a preset on my switch number 3. First, I recall my preset DVMark, that's number 0. Then I press the switch number 3 on my pedal board. When I press OK, a group of switches will light in red. I'll use the 2 and 6 switches to increase and decrease the hundreds value, 3 and 7 switches to increase and decrease the tens, and 4 and 8 switches to increase and decrease the units. Once I set the preset number I wanna map with my switch number 3, I just have to press OK and I'm done. If I need to control more than 8 presets and I wanna create my banks, I have to press menu, then, using the switch number 4, I have to select PCF, Program Change Function, confirm pressing OK, then I have to use the same switch to go in BAN, that means BANK. I press OK to save, and when I go back to the Program Change Function, I'm gonna have switches 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 and 7 changing my presets, and switches 4 and 8 to move up and down on my banks. If I enter the same menu as before, but selecting INC, I'll engage the incremental function. That means I'll have the same switches function I had with the bank setting, but this time switches 4 and 8 will scroll up and down my presets and not my banks. I can use my pedal board in the control change mode pressing and holding switch number 1. Now I can switch on and off the single effects I have in my presets after assigning them to the switch I want on the pedal board. It's pretty simple, I just have to go on the system menu on the multi-amp, then in the MIDI page I can find the control change map. Here I have to select the switch number and the effect I want to control, then I save this setting pressing enter. In the control change mode, I can also save an effect or on off in a preset, switching it to the status I want to find it, then pressing OK to save it that way. From the multi-amp pedal board, I can also activate the tuner by pressing and holding the switch number 2. Then I can turn the tuner off by pressing any switch. If I press and hold the switch number 3, I activate the tap tempo function, so I can tap on the same switch to set the delay time on the tempo I want. I can connect a volume pedal to the pedal board using a stereo cable. In order to use it, I have to set the volume function on the slot I wanna place it. I hope this video has been helpful for you to understand this DVMark multi-amp MIDI pedal board functions and use. I'm sure you agree with me when I say the DVMark Multi-Amp, together with this pedal board and its dedicated bag, lets you bring everywhere all your musical needs. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao!